Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 3, Homework. Number 1. Use the grid below to complete the following tasks. I've already done A and B, so A was create a y-axis that passes through points y and z. So I grabbed my ruler and created my y-axis through this y and z point. And then I constructed a perpendicular x-axis that passed through points z and x. So those are my purple lines, my x and my y-axis. C, label the origin as zero. The origin is right here, point z. That is zero, zero. The y-coordinate of w, so let's find w. Okay, here's w right here. The y-coordinate of w is two and three-fifths. So it's saying this is two and three-fifths. It says, label the whole numbers along the y-axis. So I'm that's two and three-fifths. I'm assuming it goes by fifths, but let's check to make sure that's correct. So this would be one-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, one. One and one-fifth, one and two-fifths, one and three-fifths, one and four-fifths, two. Two and one-fifth, two and two-fifths. So that does work. So one would be at one-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, five-fifths. So this is one. Two would be one and one-fifth, one and two-fifths, one and three-fifths, one and four-fifths, one and five-fifths would be right there. This is two and three-fifths, so two and four-fifths, two and five-fifths, that would make that three. One-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, and then it's off the page for that one. Um, so we did the y-axis. The x-coordinate v, v is two and two-fifths, so this is two and two-fifths. It says label the whole numbers along the x-axis. So this is one-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, one. One-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, two. One-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, three. One, two, three. And then off the page. Okay, so we've done the first page. Number two. For all of the following problems, consider the points k through x on the previous page. Identify all the points that have a y-coordinate of one and three-fifths. So we're looking for a y-coordinate of 1 and 3 fifths, or right here. So that would be R, M, and Q. So all three of those are along the y-axis of 1 and 3 fifths. So R, M, and Q. Identify all the points that have an x-coordinate of 2 and 1 fifth. So 2 and 1 fifth is right here. So we're looking for anything on this line right here. So that would be O, M, and L. C, which point is one and three-fifths units above the x-axis and three and one-fifths units to the right of the y-axis? Name the point and give its coordinate pair. So we're looking for a point that's one and three-fifths above the x-axis, so this the horizontal line is the x-axis, so we're looking for 1 and 3 fifths above, which would be here. Here's 1 and 3 fifths. It's 1 and 3 fifths above the x-axis right there. Let me use a different color. So right here, anything on this line is 1 and 3 fifths above the x-axis. And now we're looking for something that is three and one-fifths to the right of the y-axis. So now we're looking for something three and one-fifth out from here. So that would be oh, where I drew that arrow. <laughs> There's three and one-fifths. So that is Q. And the coordinate pair for that, the X always goes first. So the coordinate pair would be three and one-fifth, because it's three and one-fifth here, and then we go up to the y-axis two and three-fifths, and we write it with parentheses. So we had three and one-fifth, comma, one and three-fifths. Which point is located one and one-fifth unit from the y-axis? So we're looking for one and one-fifth out from the y-axis, which would be along this line here. 
So that is K. Which point is located two-fifths unit along the x-axis? So we're looking for two-fifths along the x-axis. The x-axis is right here. This would be two-fifths on the x-axis. And that would be R. Give the coordinate pair for each of the following points. Let's look for T. So here's T. T, we start with the x-axis, so we go over. I'm going to kind of follow it down here. So that's 2 and 3 fifths. And then if we go over to the y-axis, that's 2 and 4 fifths. So we get 2 and 3 fifths, 2 and 4 fifths. Now we look for u. Let's find u. Here's u right here. So that would be at 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, and then up 3 fifths as well. So it's 3 fifths, 3 fifths. S. Here's S. So it's at 1, 2 fifths, and then we go up 2 fifths. And then K. Here's K. So we already kind of drew a line there. It's at 1 and 1 fifth, and then up to, that's 3 and 2 fifths. G, name the points located at the following coordinates. We're looking for 3, 5, 3, 5. Well, we already have that one right there. That's U. 3 and 2 fifths, 0. So we're going to go over to 3 and 2 fifths, which is right here, and then up 0 means we don't go up anywhere. So that is X. 2 and 1 fifth, 3. So over to 2 and 1 fifth, there's 2 and 1 fifth, and then up to 3, that is L. 0, 2 and 3 fifths. So we don't go over the x-axis at all, we just stay at 0, and then go up to 2 and 3 fifths, right there, that is W. Plot a point whose x and y coordinates are equal. Label your point E. So that could mean that like 3 fifths, 3 fifths, those are equal. So U is a point that we could plot. I'm going to just label at, I'm just going to do 1, 1. So 1, 1, and it says to label our point E. So yours could have been 2, 2, it could have been 3, 3, it could be 3 and 1 fifth, 3 and 1 fifth, as long as the x and y coordinates are the same. That is correct. I, what is the name for the point of the plane where the two axes intersect? So that's this point where those two intersect, that is called the origin. And the coordinates for the origin are 0, 0. Plot the following points. 1 and 1 fifth, 1. So we're going to plot A at 1 and 1 fifth, 1. So there's 1 and 1 fifth right here. Let's use a new color. 1 and 1 fifth right there. And then 1, it's going to be right next to our E. So there's A. Then we have 1 fifth, 3. So here's 1 fifth up to 3. Is that B? Yep. C is going to be 2 and 4 fifths, 2 and 2 fifths. So over to 2 and 4 fifths, and then up to 2 and 2 fifths. If you need to kind of go over Draw a little line, make sure that that's accurate. And then D, 1 and 1 fifth is 0. 
We're going to go over to 1 and 1 fifth right here and then up nothing. So that is D. Or we should probably write it above in the coordinate grid. What is the distance between L and N or LN? So let's find L and N. So here's LN right here. So it's asking what the distance is between them or what the length of line LN would be. Well, it's one fourth, one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths long, where the distance between them is four fifths. L, what is the distance of MQ? Let's see, MQ is right here. So that's one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths, or one. So the distance is one. Would RM be greater than, less than, or equal to LN plus MQ? So LN plus MQ, that would be one and four fifths, because it's four fifths plus the one, one and four fifths. So let's find RM. Here's M, R is over here. We're looking for that distance. So we have one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, one, one and one fifth, one and two fifths, one and three fifths, one and four fifths. So they would be equal to. N. Leslie was explaining how to plot points on the coordinate plane to a new student, but she left off some important information. Correct her explanation so that it is complete. She said, all you have to do is read the coordinates. For example, if it says 4, 7, count 4, then 7, and put a point where the two grid lines intersect. Well, it looks like Leslie has left off the part about the x and y axis, because if you didn't know whether you go horizontally or vertically first, then 4, 7 is not going to do you much good. So let's fix her explanation. So she needs to say, let's just rewrite it. All you have to do is read the coordinates. For example, if it says For seven, then you go over four on the x axis. We can say horizontal, horizontally, and then up. Seven on the y axis vertically, and put a point where the two grid lines intersect. 